गर्मी तो ज़्यादा है ही और उसके बाद पाँच साल पहले के जो बात हो रही है सो अभी जो है मौसम के ऊपर कि जो गर्मी और ठंडा अभी जो ये जो वर्षा अभी तत्काल में जो हुआ है दो रात उसमें अभी तो सारे फसल के खराब ही किया है Farmers everywhere are already feeling the effects of climate change. In India, Seeds for Needs, a biodiversity international project, is trying to help farmers cope with current and future climate variations by making use of agricultural biodiversity. We are trying to introduce the farmers to newer varieties and how they can reduce the risks associated with climate change. First, we identify a, a set of materials that is uh, likely to do well under uh, farmers' conditions. Then we make like a short list of um, varieties, land bases that we think are going to do well. And then we give a smaller set to farmers to, uh, to get access to the diversity, to do some kind of systematic observations, collect that information, share that again with them, uh, so, so that they um, have more information about these new varieties from their own perspective. We have to do this in the field, we have to do this for the field, and we have to do this for the field. पर साल जब हम गोहूँ लगाए थे वो ट्रायल उस पर मेला भारी लगा था बहुत दूर दूर के लोग आए थे उसको देखने के लिए इन इंडिया देर आर सेवेल जोन्स फॉर वीट वो वी आर डूइंग इज टेकिंग अ फ्यू वैरायटीज व्हिच फॉल इन द ईस्टर्न जोन एंड द वेस्टर्न जोन एंड वी वांट टू सी इफ इफ सम वैरायटी व्हिच वाज नॉट मेंट फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर जोन इज नाउ वर्किंग देयर so it's really not about um, introducing varieties that will do well in, in 10, 20 years. It's, it's, it's more about um, adapting to the current conditions. We know that climate change has uh, been happening already, so um, what we're trying to build is a system that is uh, adaptive, that helps farmers in a constantly to get access to new materials, and that helps them to, to kind of track the climate while it changes. Last year, the project began experimenting with crowdsourcing, a method of getting small contributions from large groups of people to identify patterns or results. In the case of Seeds for Needs, this meant testing only a handful of varieties with a large number of farmers. So in crowdsourcing, we are trying to involve as many farmers as possible in the trials. and. Uh, what we're doing is instead of giving them a whole variety of seeds like 10, 20 or something, we're trying to also make it easier on them to hold the trials. So we're giving them um, only three varieties of seeds. And they make comparisons. So throughout the growing season, they look at different aspects. They provide us with, uh, with, with information about which variety is best for which uh, type of characteristic. To help farmers get better results, Scientists also introduced them to planting techniques, such as line sowing, and demonstrated how the plots should be laid out to make comparing easier. We've, we've designed um, the plots for them, the layouts for them. So it's like uh, 12 rows into 5 meters and then 20 centimeters in between and they have to do line sewing. Um, we've, we've given them all the instructions. We actually demonstrated one plot for them and the, the plots have to be uh, adjusted to each other. So um, it's a, also a visual thing when they, if, if it's right next to each other, it makes it very easy to compare them. Despite initial doubts, the trials have exponentially grown in the last two years due to good quality seeds and word of mouth. We have a huge network now. We started with a really small group of farmers clustered in a few villages in one district. So last year, for example, we had uh, around 30 farmers in three villages in one district in Bihar. This year we have uh, five districts, 59 villages and 500 farmers. So. I think the network has exponentially increased and we have plans to 
include even more farmers, more districts uh, uh, with each coming year. Last year we had a farmers field day and we had invited farmers from other villages where we did not have the trials. And um, what well, the farmers said was they were really happy with the trial. Uh, they're really happy with the varieties that we introduced them to, some new varieties that they did not know of. And mostly they were really happy with the seed quality. So this this convinced a lot of farmers to join the biodiversity trials this year. The variety that we have been in the first place, we have had three varieties that were very good. The seed was very good and the seed was very good. So what we found was that farmers were quite skeptical about the use of uh, varieties to overcome um, climate change problems. Um, but when they actually started to see the materials, they were really uh, interested in it. So they discovered uh, that some of the materials were um, resistant to diseases, some had really good properties of, uh, of the grain that they really liked. And uh, seeing it for themselves, is the best way visualizing it. I mean, we can go go and talk to them, and we can try to convince them with terms and, uh, and and ideas and everything. But when they see the plant growing, they get really involved into it. They have a sort of an uh, informal competition going around. That you know, mine is the best, yours is the best. Uh, last year, uh, I think I had better yield. What three trial? Our you see, three trial very good. जिसमें कुछ है तो तन का मंत्र अंतर है लेकिन वो और कितना अंतर होता है उतना रिजल्ट देगा हमारा जब इल्लूस में से निकाल कर उसको दुखेंगे उसका दाना गिनेंगे उसका दाना का कलर देखेंगे क्या है वो सब बहुत सारी चीज़ उसको देखेंगे हाँ तब उसका हम पूरा बताएंगे लेकिन अभी जो है से हमारा तीनों ट्रायल बहुत बढ़िया लगा है